Contact forms are useful features that will allow your users to email you or any other specified user directly. They can be used for gathering leads, feedback, and much more. This tutorial explains how to create a basic single contact form using the core Joomla Contacts component. We'll put this on our main menu here. Let's return to the back end to get started. We'll go to Components in the upper menu and then select Contacts. Notice how there are contacts and categories that we can start creating. We'll go ahead and start with our contacts, and by default we don't have any. But we want to start again by creating a category for our contacts. By default, Joomla has the one uncategorized category for our contacts, but we'll click on the New button to create our own unique category. As we create the category, we'll first want to add a title. So we'll call this category our Art Directors. We can also add a description for the category, or make it a subcategory of a different category. There are a lot of ways to categorize your contacts, and I encourage you to explore your different options. But for now, we're going to go ahead and just save and close this category. Next, we're going to click on the Contacts tab off to the left side of this page to create a contact. By default, there are none in our site, so we'll click on the New button to create that new contact. And this is the area where we can enter in all the information for this person, and we'll want to make sure it's accurate. We'll give this person a name, Jonathan, and we can also link a user. Now in a minute, I'm going to show you a plugin that you can enable that will automatically sync your contacts with your users. But for now, we can link this person to our super user. The super user is me, the person who launched the site, the only user in the site by default when you get started. Again, in just a minute, we'll go to the plugin manager to enable a plugin that will automatically link our users to our contacts component. Next, though, we're going to select an image for this contact. I've already uploaded this art director's image into my Joomla site. But remember, you can always scroll to the bottom of this window if you want to browse your computer. Simply click on the Choose File button and Upload. I'll click on the image that I uploaded, and notice how the URL is inserted down below. I'll scroll back up and click on the Insert button, and now the image is added. Next, I'll add a position for Jonathan. We'll make him an art director. I'll also add in Jonathan's email. Here we're using a fake email, but you want to make sure your email is accurate. We'll also add in a street and a city, a state, and a zip code. Of course, you can pick and choose what information you'd like to display here for your contact, but this information will appear in your contact form. You can also make sure you save this into one of the categories you created. We'll make sure we save Jonathan as the contact into the art director's category. Next, let's click Save and Close. Before we actually create the menu item, let's open up our Plugin Manager to show you that plugin where you can automatically sync your users with your contact component. Go ahead and go to Extensions and open your Plugin Manager, and at the top, search for User. The plugin we want to create is this one, User Contact Creator. Let's enable this, and by default, all of our users will now be added to our Contacts component. If we open up the plugin by clicking on the plugin name, you can also add the contacts to a specific contact category. For us, we could select the only category we've created, which is the art director. Now, you can go ahead and play around with this as you create contacts, but for now, we're just going to close this out. Next, let's go back to our control panel. And the next step is to create a menu item. So we'll go to Menus, Main Menu, Add New Menu Item. When we create the menu item, first, of course, we'll add a title in, and we're going to call this one Contact Us, and then we'll select the menu item type. To do this, select from the Contacts category, and you do have some options here. You can select Featured Contacts, much like your Featured Articles, a list of all contact categories, a list of contacts within one category, or you can select the option we're going to go with today, which is the Single Contact. Next, of course, it's really important that we link the contact we created with this menu item. So go to Select Contact and click on the Select button. You see Jonathan's the only contact we created, so he's the only person we have to choose from. Click on Jonathan here, and you can also make sure that this appears on the menu that you want it to. We're putting this on our main menu, so we'll go ahead and save at this point. And we'll return to the front end of the site, refresh the page, and we can see the Contact Us menu item. 
When you first visit your contact form, you'll notice the image and all of the contact information that you included for the contact. Now this works as an accordion where you can expand and contract and whoever visits your site can access the contact form and the contact information separately. Now they can add their name and email a subject and send a direct email to Jonathan as long as that email address is accurate. You have many choices through the back end of how you'd like this contact to display. So if you return to the back end and click on Contact Display Options, you can scroll down and select the options that work best for your individual needs. Now, there are different options here, and I do encourage you to explore them. We're not going to explore each of them during this tutorial. The next tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use search modules and use the core Joomla Smart Search component.